really important. Yes. Uh, you are the producer of a documentary series called The Fighting Season. And this is not just the producer. You went for 110 days to Afghanistan. Yeah. Uh, let's run a clip and we'll talk about okay. it. Okay. We go hot when we leave the wire. So you go to red status. Patrol. Roger that. Spring, summertime, when the enemy comes back from other countries within the area, it's known as the fighting season. At least two surges, 500 meters. This isn't Call of Duty. I lost a hand and I don't see it. Until you've been there in a firefight, seeing your buddies die, you see things different. Wow. Intense. Oh. <laughs> you, you really got into it, but you really embedded it. Yeah. What was the inspiration for this? You know, it's America's longest war, Afghanistan war. It's, it's going on 14 years. It's nine years longer than Vietnam. And it's important to document what we accomplished there and what we didn't accomplish there. So I think there's like a historical record told in this format of, you know, the soldier's perspective so that one day, whatever happens in Afghanistan, we can look back on the fighting season and say that's how we left it, whether it goes good or bad, mm -hmm. how we left it. You, you, you dealt with, not just with the soldiers, you also dealt with the, what we call the locals mm -hmm. there that's as well, yeah. to try to get the lay of the land. Oh yeah, we were embedded with uh, U.S. forces and all missions right now with, are embedded with Afghan National Army as well, or Afghan National Police. The U.S. doesn't do anything by themselves because we're trying to hand the war off to them. And the fear, of course, is they may not be fully capable to take over. That's correct. Um, there's so many challenges that they have to overcome and you know we've spent so much blood and treasure in Afghanistan over the last 13 years and so I wanted to document how we left it and I wanted to experience for, good, for better or worse what these soldiers go through and myself. For worse I mean is there stuff that you just can't unsee now like what did you have to experience over there? It's, you know the, the constant threat of violence, mm -hmm. the constant threat of, and the tension that never ends sort of, even though it doesn't happen, you're always waiting for it, to, for it to happen. And so that's sort of the thing that changed me, was just the constant stress. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, these young soldiers are just so impressive and amazing. The access you had was incredible. I mean, you were really on the front lines there. Yeah, I had myself and, and four other cameramen, and we embedded for three months there. And what's really interesting is, depending on where you're at on the battlefield and what your missions are, the war looks very different for every soldier. And so that's one of the things I didn't know about the reality, we sit back here and we have a vague sense of Afghanistan. It's a country uh, where maybe the leadership isn't as good as it can be. We have some general sense of the country. There are like 20 different countries in that country. Yeah, it's a melting pot. Yeah, it depends the, where you are. The Silk Road from China to Rome mm -hmm. went through Afghanistan. So over the last j thousands of years, all the cultures, all the major religions went through Afghanistan to go from China to Rome. Because of that, uh, it's a melting pot of cultures and people, people with red hair and blue eyes and people right. that hmm. look very different. Question for you, uh, not that it was important, but a lot of people want to know, when you showed up, were you Rick Schroeder the star or <laughs> these kids just didn't know where you were? They called me the camera guy, Steve. Um, <laughs> oh and they would say, hey, camera guy, you're going to want to film this. Come Isn't over here. Awesome? Yeah. I love that. Great. It was so great. How and were you received freedom. by they, the locals they, they, I, I'm sorry, just go back to soldiers for a moment. Yeah. These kids don't know who you are. They're too no, young. They're 19. They're 22. They have no idea. So that, you're an old timer to them. And they probably, I, am an old -timer I mean, they probably Absolutely. don't care. I mean, they've got yeah. their job yeah. to do. And, and that's the thing about these young soldiers is they don't do it for glory or cameras because they do it every day in remote parts of the world and nobody acknowledges, nobody yeah. sees it. Mm -hmm. And so because I was there with cameras and I had my crew, they didn't do anything special. They do that yeah. every day. Yeah. And oh, I was just wondering how were you received by the locals? Again, depending on where you were, it yeah. depends how welcoming they were. What was your overall experience like? Um, the locals were really good people. Um, you know, they, they're fighting for their country. It's a complicated place. Were and, you welcomed? And I was, I, I was welcomed. At the same time, you can't ever let your guard down uh -huh. because you know 120 U.S. soldiers have been killed by the Afghan partners because Taliban infiltrate their ranks, mm -hmm. and so it's tough to tell. And your family signed off on this. I mean, <laughs> your wife, your, your four wife kids. kids. What, did they, what did they think? What did they think? They, they, I still, my wife hasn't forgiven me, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> still. How first. happy were you to get home and lay yeah. in your own bed? I, I literally got to LAX and I almost kissed the dirty gutter. Yep. I was so happy. Was soldier to returning, that. going back to the world, as they would say, was it strange for you? It was completely strange, and it took me six months to sort of care about other people's concerns. Or, mm. and it sounds selfish, but when you come back from that and you 
you hear what people complain about. Yeah, it's yeah. hard. It's, it's hard. So petty. It's yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard okay. to complain about traffic. All right, right? the fighting yeah. season premieres on DirecTV a week from tonight, and we thank you so much for thank you. Congratulations. So much. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Look at these beautiful girls you have. I know.